Hey guys, Brickerio here. I am going to be opening up four more of the uh, Mario character packs for you today. Um, this should be the rest of the series, so I will have a complete set when this video is done. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to uh, mention that I am going to be taking some time to make some big changes to the channel. Um, I don't know how long those changes will be. I don't think there will be any like pause in content, but um, yeah, just letting you know that uh, over the next coming weeks, you'll probably see a lot of sort of upgrades and different sort of looks for videos, like even this right here. Um, I'm using my GoPro as sort of a webcam. So yeah, hopefully I'll be doing some more like talking head segments um, with this kind of setup like this. Um, and yeah, so watch out for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all the big changes. And with that, let's get on to opening these puppies up. So here we are. We got four packs to open up. Hopefully this should be the rest of the series. Uh, I'm really excited, so I'm just going to dive right in. Um, pack number one. And this time I do actually have an exacto knife, so... Uh, yeah, this will go a lot easier. It's also a brand new X-Acto knife, so this is the Paragoomba. Yay. Um, I did feel these. I do know what they are, but I think it's still fun to open them, so that's what's happening right now. So there's our Goomba. And I do want to just pause here and quick compare the uh, standard Goomba to the Paragoomba here. Because um, they are actually built a little differently um, because you have the clips here. Um, you'll notice if I take off one of those, you can kind of see how it's built up um, versus the normal Goomba, um, which has four studs all around um, using the, the sort of brick heads um, pieces. Uh, introduced in brick heads for studs on the side, but here they actually um, only have them connected on two uh, to two studs instead of four. And then I really appreciate that the color of these uh, one by one bricks with the stud on the side is that same. I don't know, it's like a medium brown um, because it makes you can see those bricks pretty clearly on the back. Um, so that's pretty nice. This is the Goomba from the starter course, and the face expressions are actually a little different. So here's the Goomba all built up, and it does kind of annoy me that he can't be centered. Um, I suppose you could offset the cloud, but I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah, really basic pyramid. Um, these are the pieces you want to feel for. Also the cloud, I suppose, to identify this guy. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pack number two. Here we go. This is the blooper. It's kind of funny. It really felt like there should be more pieces, but there's not. So, there's the blooper. Um, yeah, I actually like this build a lot more than I kind of thought I would initially. Um, I do wish that the, uh, this is a nice part usage of this piece for the um, tentacles, but I do wish that they kind of went in the back, but I guess it kind of works if you have it sitting on something, then it, I don't know, then it's like, doesn't feel like there's something missing underneath it. Um, and uh, this one did have some extra pieces. The Paragoomba didn't. So I guess if that's a thing you care about, there you go. Next pack. I am getting messier with opening these. <laughs> okay. I guess here we go. This is the Bullet Bill.
There's the bullet bill. Some extra pieces there. Um, I like this build. Um, if you remove the round 2x2, two two, then, um, then it's like actually completely smooth and flat on all sides. Um, this build, I think, works extremely well at this scale, especially the little hands, um, and using this like existing piece that's been around for a while. Um, I think that works really well. And the cactus build is nice. I don't know, nothing like too crazy, but there you go. Last pack. It is the urchin. Ooh. So like I felt through all of these, but I was like really like, like when I was opening this up, I had genuinely had no idea what it would be. Um, like I was just opening it and like, I knew it would be different, um, but I like wasn't like thinking it would be the urchin. Um, so that was just kind of surprising. <laughs> So, some extra pieces on that one too. Um, there's the urchin. Um, I really like this one. Um, I think this texture is just really nice. Um, and I don't know if, uh, I don't know what game the urchins first appeared in, um, but they are pretty heavily um, used in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is my personal favorite Mario game. Um, and I really like the um, geyser um, here, which I would guess is probably more from uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, um, which I also enjoyed. So, um, yeah, this one's really cool. But um, that is these four right now that I just opened up today. Two desert and two underwater ones. So that's something. In addition to those two... In the uh, last one of these, I got the Cheap Cheap and the Babam, or sorry, the Eep Cheap. Um, and yeah, it looks. Uh, actually, they're slightly different shapes. Um, if you look at sort of the shape of the eyes, this one almost looks like the top of a heart, whereas this one just kind of looks like two ovals. Um, so that's, that's actually nice. I was. I figured the eye color would be different, but. Um, Actually, they're more distinct than I thought they would be, so that's cool. But yeah, so I have these six here. Unfortunately, the other four, um, they're at home right now, so um, I don't have access to them, so I can't get them all in one shot. But if you look elsewhere on the internet, you can find that. Or you can also just uh, look here. Um, but yeah, I have all of them now. I have the Peepa, the Buzzy Beetle, the Spiny, and the Fuzzy at home. Um, and then the other six are in front of you. Um, so that's really exciting. I I love this series. I mean, I love Mario. And this was just, it was really kind of fun to have a um, collectible minifigure, I guess. Well, it's not minifigure, but like the, you know, the blind bag thing that you have to feel through. Um, I wish it was a collectible minifigure series with minifigures of our Mario characters, but um, this is cool too. Um, it's also kind of unique in that um, there's just so many more pieces in each of these than in regular minifigures, um, so it's a little bit harder to feel for them. Um, so I enjoyed that challenge, I suppose. Um, next up on my list, I'm opening up... Uh, uh, the Harry Potter series too, um, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. And um, I can already tell you now, like it's just it's a lot easier to um, identify the the packs in those cases when there are just so many fewer pieces. Um, but in here, you have all these tiny like one by one round pieces, and uh, it's doable, obviously. But um, it's just it's a lot harder to sort of distinguish them because they have a lot of pieces in common. 
Um, so that was kind of fun. But yeah, that is going to do it for these six. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is I do have access to um, a couple of extras. Um, and I want to know your thoughts on uh, which ones I should keep. So I bought more than um, I'm going to keep. Um, just so I could have them all or, you know, more likely chance just because it's harder to feel for stuff in stores during um, current world event. But um, so the ones I have extra of are the Pipa, the Ghost, um, the Buzzy Beetle, and actually this one I have uh, four extra. Um, the Urchin, uh, the Eep Cheep, the Paragoomba, the Spiny, and the Fuzzy. So I think I'm going to keep at least one Buzzy Beetle and one Spiny. Um, oh, I actually have two um, extras of Spiny. So I think I'm going to keep one Spiny, one Buzzy Beetle. Um, but then that leaves um, three other Buzzy Beetles um, that I could potentially keep. And then I would have a total of five, um, which I don't, I don't know if I really want to do that, um, but I could. Um, and then the Eep Cheap, the Urchin, uh, the Paragoomba, and the fuzzy. Um, I think the urchin didn't really excite me, but kind of looking at it now, I don't know. I kind of like it better. <laughs> um, so let me know your thoughts on what I should do there. And um, yeah. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments which one of the characters are your favorite. And uh, if you're new, give it a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.